Good morning, everyone. Welcome to What's Up Wednesday. My name is Erin, and today we're going to be going over the property websites and different tools and tricks and things that you can do for the actual property websites. I'll show you some different tools uh, that are really good to enhance the property website and some other options and things that you'll have available for that. Uh, so that will be our topic today. A couple of announcements. Um, in two weeks, don't miss it. We're actually going to be doing a Q&A session for What's Up Wednesday. So how we've done it in the past is if you want to send your questions, you can send questions over to accounts at agentmarketing.com. Any questions that you have that you want to share with us uh, that we can actually answer during the Q&A session, we'd love to go ahead and answer those questions and get those available um, and get those that information out for you. So we'd love to do these from time to time just to answer any questions that you may have that we haven't covered in What's Up Wednesday and basically go over some really good information with you. Um, it's always a good way to learn more about the system and kind of do that as well. So don't miss that. That's in two weeks. Uh, the other announcement that I have is we actually have rolled out this new advanced IDX search. So the great thing with the advanced search is it's going to allow consumers to search on your website so much more in depth. So if they want to have, if they're looking for a home that has so many specific items that they're looking for, it really allows them to narrow down their search and search exactly what they're looking for. So the advanced search does start at $40 a month plus data management fees. You can actually add that in by going to the little gear icon in the top left-hand corner and click on advanced, uh, IDX advanced search. So that's where you can go ahead and get that going. I'm gonna do a little special for you guys. I'm not gonna announce it till the end of What's Up Wednesday, but I do have a little special that I want to announce about the advanced IDX search for you. Um, something that you guys can't tell anybody that I'm gonna do, but I wanna offer to you guys because you are all so loyal and attend every week. So um, I'm going to announce that at the very end. So stay tuned for that. Um, other than that, I think that's all I have for announcements. As anything becomes available, you are always the first to know. Um, if you haven't done so already, be sure to join our agent marketing community group. If you go to facebook.com and search for agent marketing community, it's a way to talk with other users about strategies, things that may be working for you. Maybe there's questions that you have of something that's not working and you want to bounce ideas off of a few others. Uh, so that's always a good tool to kind of learn more um, from other users and kind of do that. So it's called Agent Marketing Community. You do have to put in your login. So it is close to agent marketing users only, uh, which is a nice thing because then you know you can learn more about agent marketing. You can ask questions and stuff like that. So plus uh, Tara and myself, we're always posting in there too. We're always putting some new stuff. Um, between What's Up Wednesday and that agent marketing community, those are the two main places where we always announce new things, what we're working on, kind of keeping you in the know with everything too. So if you haven't done so already, be sure to join in on that group. Again, you just go to Facebook and in the search type, type in agent marketing community, and then you should see it pop up right away. So you have that to, to kind of learn more and all of that. So with that being said, that's it for announcements. Let's go ahead and get started with our topic today. So today we're going to be learning about property websites and I'm gonna show you some different things, enhancements, tools, features, things that you can use to add on that are really gonna help your property website stand out and be the best of the best. So to get to your properties, you're gonna to go to the property tab over here on the left-hand side and you're gonna click on properties. Now, you should have listings added in here already. If you do not, you can always click on the Add New button. You can manually add in with an MLS number. Uh, you would type in the MLS number and then it would auto fill in all of the fields. If you wanna add it in before it hits MLS, then you can manually type in all the details and it will take you through each step of adding in the property. Uh, that's always good if you wanna have the listing presentation or if you wanna do the CMA report. Those are the two main reasons why you would wanna manually add. Um, the third option is if you have your MLS poll set up, so that's going to pull the properties in for you automatically from the MLS, which is a huge, huge feature. So that just simplifies everything for you. And then you don't have to worry about adding it into the MLS, agent marketing, all these different places. So if you set up your automation, that is a lifesaver. That will definitely save some time on your end for you. 
So when you're on your property tab and you have your property added in, you'll see that your listing is here. Uh, just a couple things about the actual property. If you ever need to go in and edit the photo gallery, add in more photos, change the order, anything like that, uh, you can always do that by going to this little camera icon. The number next to it just tells you how many photos you have for that property. So the cool thing is, is you have your photo gallery here. You also have virtual tour. We do create a virtual tour for you automatically based off of the photos that you have. But if you wanted to create a custom virtual tour, something that's different, maybe a different order, anything like that, then you can definitely go through and do that. Definitely okay. Uh, if you have the panoramic photos, nowadays with all of our phones that we have, all the tech and the, the smart stuff that we have on our phones, there's the pano option on your camera settings. Take those panos. If there's a beautiful backyard, if, the, if you want to take a pano of the front of the house or if there's a cool room or space throughout the house, take those panos and add those into the system. It's only making you stand out that much more and showing and really highlighting the beauty of that home or a really cool feature or that landscape, you know, anything like that. If there's a pool and the backyard just looks super, super cool, upload those panels, take those panels and get those into the system because that's another great way to showcase your property. Uh, the last option you have through the camera is gonna be the video in YouTube. Uh, you do have an option to have a YouTube video created for your property. I highly recommend if you haven't done so already, set up your YouTube channel through the, uh, the YouTube settings. Um, putting it on your own YouTube channel not only keeps your videos in one place, but YouTube only allows us to add so many videos to the agent marketing channel. Whereas if you have your own YouTube channel set up, for sure your videos will be able to be uploaded to your channel and there shouldn't be any issues. So um, they only allow us to add so many to the agent marketing channel per day. I don't even know the number, but sometimes it makes it where videos get delayed and don't always get uploaded to YouTube. So if you have your own channel, that will uh, eliminate any of those issues. Plus then all your videos are in one place. You can add a link onto your personal website with all your YouTube videos, stuff like that if you wanted to. So it gives you a, a kind of the upper hand having your YouTube channel set up. Uh, going back to the property, um, this is our little delete button. If you ever need to delete the listing, you can definitely click that. There is options to reuse the text code and some of the, um, some of the, like the URL. So if you wanted to do that, you can click here and it will walk you through all of that, which is cool. All right, now diving into some of the other things for the property website. So if you ever need to edit any of the details, there is this little edit pencil here. I love this because maybe you pick a layout and you're like, oh, I'm not really a fan of that one. I wanna change it up and do a different template. You can always click on website and go down and change the template. Um, this is always nice to be able to kind of change up some of the layout options. There's some lead generation tools through the website option as well. Uh, one thing that I really like is the features, the bullet points. You can highlight those top features that you want to showcase and they'll populate on the property website. So maybe pick four or five, maybe even six bullet points. I would do an even number actually, so maybe do like four to six. Um, but go through and highlight some of those top features that are in that home. Maybe there's granite uh, countertops, there's a five car garage gorgeous views, ocean view, something like that. So you can go through and you can put in some of those top highlights and those bullet point features that really best highlight the house and really showcase some of those top features as good selling points. So you can go through and do that. I always think that that's a nice little option to have available for you. So you can do that and have that option. Um, yeah, you can change the layout after it's been active at any time you can go through and change the layout. So you have that option. The great thing is, is we do have one click social media posters. So you can click on this little share button. This button will only be here if you've gone through and activated the property website. So if the website is not active, you may not see this. You may see a little lock instead, a little highlighted red lock. If you do not see the little share button, you have to activate the property first, and then you'll have access to share all of your, your listings on social media. So you will see here that we have Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Craigslist, and then you can email the listing. If you want to post on, on um, Instagram now, 
we have a little design lab where you can create a photo to post on Instagram. The only reason why we don't have an automatic poster to Instagram is because they don't really allow us to do automatic postings right now. Um, we're trying to figure out a solution. So right now using the design lab and creating a cool little image is gonna be an awesome way. And you can always put your website URL in your description on Instagram and use that as a way to post to social as well. So that's another option for you and you have that tool to use. Uh, you have your report section. So if you wanna go through and you wanna showcase any of the, um, if you wanna do like a uh, feedback survey, if you wanna do a CMA report, if you wanna share the hits report or anything like that with your agent or uh, your sellers, you can do that. Um, and then the seller accountability report. I love this feature. I just wanna uh, show you this real quick. With the seller accountability report, this keeps track of every single thing that you're doing for the property. So you'll see here that this property website has been modified like 900 times. I don't necessarily wanna show all of that. So if I wanted to delete some of these things, maybe I'm gonna go through and delete every other. You can hit save, but you can even type in your own things. So if you wanted to do like um, held open house, and you hit save, then it's gonna populate on there. When you click view, it's gonna have every single thing that you've done for the sellers. And you can take this and be like, this is what I've done for you this month to help. Hopefully it doesn't take a month to sell the home, but if you needed to, you could do it on a weekly basis. You could do it on a couple day basis, however you wanna do it. But you could say, this is everything that I've done. Or maybe you go through and you build the property website, you get the open house scheduled, you have all of this stuff done, and you just give it to them the one time saying, look, this is all the marketing pieces that I've put together to help market the home. Um, I've got business cards on the way, the signs up in the yard, we have an open house this weekend, all of this. So this is a great tool to share with the sellers, really showcasing some different things that you're doing to, to help sell the home. So awesome little feature. Um, if you want to purchase any marketing materials, I won't go too much into that, but if you need sign writers, water bottle labels, any of that kind of stuff, you'll be able to view that through the shopping cart. Now the fun part, the tool section. I absolutely love the tool section because this actually gives you so, I'm just going to scroll through this really quick and then I'll go through some of the top ones. Look at all these awesome features that you get to add on to the property websites and that you can use. So you can really pick the ones that you want to do. Um, there's some cool ones I'm going to point out right now. One awesome feature, if you wanted to, you have the open house date. So I always recommend if you're going to be hosting an, out, an open house, add in those open house dates. So you can add these in. So for instance, we'll say we're going to have an open house this weekend. We'll just say we're going to do it from 2 p.m. We'll say to 4 p.m. And I'm going to save this. Okay, now you have a little Facebook announcement that you can share on social media and it's going to have those open house dates, the property location, a little lead contact form, and all of your information and the home on here. How cool is this? You can do this one click social media poster, click on the Facebook icon, it's going to pull up, pull up your Facebook page. With that information on here, you can say join, um, come join us on Saturday at 2 p.m. and post to your story or post to your, um, sorry, post to your Facebook page. You could do this on your business page. You could do this wherever. You could share this with the sellers and have them go ahead and send it off to whoever they want and post on their social media pages too. So this is a huge, huge option for you to be able to do. Um, we also have the Looky Leads app that you can use for the open house. So if you want to add those in, you're more than welcome to go ahead and do that as well. So whichever you feel is easiest for you, Awesome, awesome tool here. This is going to showcase on the property website. You have the open house announcement. I love that feature, being able to do that. Um, a couple other cool things with the text code. Text codes are one of the biggest lead generation tools that you have for your property website. Now the text codes are great because consumers can text about your property. You get that lead instantly, but they get a text message with the property details and a link to the mobile website so they can learn more information about the property. So this is great because you are getting notified instantly. You can actually customize the text code if you want to. So if you wanted to do, when we add in the property for you or if you add it in, however the property gets added in, 
uh, we create a random number text code for you. Uh, you can go through and change it. So this property is on Rock Rose. I put 17 Rock, uh, Rock as the text code. So anytime somebody texts 17 Rock, they're gonna get the property information for this listing. So the cool thing is, is you can either keep the text code how we just randomly assign it for you, or if you wanna make it more custom and customize it for you, you can actually go through and, and customize it too. So I like this feature, it makes it more, um, more custom. So if you want it to be more custom for the home, you can. If you wanna leave it as is, that's totally fine too, but you have the option, which is really, really nice. Those great floor plans that you guys have, if you wanna add those into the system, there is an option for floor plans. So definitely be sure to add in those floor plans. Um, a couple other things I'll touch on, property flyers. This is another great tool. We actually went through and redid these not too long ago and gave you the option to go through and customize your, um, your flyers completely. So what you can do is you can actually go through and choose your flyer template. So you'll see here, we have 10 different layout choices to choose from. If you wanna do one that looks better with a co-listing agent, you can do that. One that has some good open house dates and you can kind of change the information. You'll see we even do have an OH layout which is specifically designed for the open house. And then you'll see that you can choose QR code and choose the one that has the QR code on there too. So once you choose your layout option that you want, you can click on edit flyers, and then you can go through and customize this. If you want a different photo of the home, say maybe you wanna showcase the pool instead, that maybe that's the photo you wanna add in for the flyers, you can do that. You can go through and change out the photos. You can click on the description and do it different from what's on the property website. So there is some stuff that is auto-filled for you. You'll see here, next open house, Saturday, got those open house times on there. So this is awesome because it allows you to really go through and customize the flyer. You can even change out the colors. So if you need to change it up to something to match more of your logo, uh, you could definitely do that too and change it up to whatever you need to have available. So. It's nice because you have those options to be able to do that. If you have your own flyers too, you can always click on the upload PDF and even upload your own flyers, whatever you wanna do. So you have those options. Um, the other thing, I mean, we have the listing presentation through here, so pretty self-explanatory on that. You can pull it up through the tools and you can print it through this section. So if you wanted to use that. And then you have your HTML website links and sharing. I always love to point this section out because this is your important link. You can find it in the tools section and then I'm gonna show you another easy spot to find it right here. So you'll see these little grayed out icons here. It's gonna be this little link icon, the little middle one. When you click on that, it takes you into all of your website links. This is always important because you'll need your MLS compliant virtual tour link. This is great because you can post this onto your MLS and it will strip down all of the information to make it compliant with the MLS. You have um, HTML classified. So if you want to post, uh, you can post to different sites. Like if you do blog posts or anything like that, you can use the HTML. This is good for Craigslist. We do have the Craigslist poster, but if you wanted to use this instead, you totally can. So, so that's, I mean, a lot of the stuff for the property websites that you can go ahead and add on. Uh, to kind of show you what the actual property website looks like, we should probably go through that as well. Um, but to show you, this is awesome. So this is going to be one of those lead generation tools that you have. Consumers can fill out their information or continue with Facebook. You have an option to make this mandatory to where they have to fill this out before they even view the property website, or they can click no thank you and then still go through and view any of the property information. So you'll see on the website, it's gonna have those open house dates on there if you add those in. You have your photo gallery, your virtual tour, uh, you have your map, all of these different tools. Your consumers can print brochures too. So that cool little flyer that you made, they can download it if they want to, or they can just view it. You can print them from the website if you want to. Um, there's the neighborhood flyer too that has the what's nearby stuff. And then if you're sponsored by a loan officer, then you have your loan scenario flyer as well. So this is the property website, pretty, pretty looking, uh, I should say pretty nice looking website. 
Um, there's a bunch of different templates that you can choose from and have available as well. So just be sure to take a look at those. Add in a dummy property if you don't have any listings and kind of play around with some of the features. Uh, the nice thing is, is when you do, if you are a newer agent starting out, you can always add in your listing when you get it. But go in and create a, a dummy website and take a look at some of the features. It's always a good idea to kind of know some of the marketing tools and things that you have available. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and open it up for questions. Um, so uh, can you change a layout after it's been active? So yes, you can. You can actually go through and change it. To change that, you'd click on the edit pencil. And then you're gonna click on website. When you click on website, sorry, my question box got in the way. When you click on website, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see all of your different website template options and you just choose the layout that you would like to use. So you can definitely go through and change that. Um, is the action filled automatically from other actions? Example sent from email regarding about the property. Uh, Susan, I'm not sure I understand your question. What was that regarding? Um, how do I get to the property tab? Uh, so over to the left hand side, you'll click on the property tab and you'll go to properties. And then there you'll be able to view all of your properties. So you'll go over there and then you can actually access all of the properties and all of that. So it gives you those options. And then when you, something too that there was a question earlier and I uh, didn't get a chance to answer it. For the MLS poll to get your automation set up, we will be doing a webinar on this next week, so definitely be sure to attend. But in the meantime, if you wanna set up the automation, you can go through and click here, and then it will take you through the steps of how you can actually go through and get that set up. Um, Susan, let me find out what you're referring to here. Oh, the gear marks just means that um, you can actually go through and customize the color. So it would be all of that. It just gives you the option to go through when you choose that layout. If you need to customize the color that you originally selected, you can choose to do that through there. All right, were there any other questions? Anything else I can answer for you? All right, looks like that's it. So again, next week, we're gonna be going over the property automation. So be sure to attend. Uh, with the automation, it's going to be walking you through all of the different steps on how to get your properties automatically added into the system. And then we'll go through some of the features and things that you have available as well with the property automation. So my little contest that I was, or I shouldn't say contest, but my little announcement that I wanted to make for you. So as part of one of the things that I wanted to offer for you, I did mention that we have the new advanced IDX search. The first five people who send me an email saying that they want to sign up for the advanced IDX search, I will give you your first month for free. So if you want to do that, the first five of you to email me will go ahead and get the first month for free for the advanced IDX search. So the email to email me is going to be Erin, E-R-I-N, at agentmarketing.com. So again, the first five of you to send me an email saying that you wanna get started with the advanced IDX search, I will go ahead and give you your first month free on that. So that's gonna be a huge game changer. The reason why I wanna push the advanced IDX search so much is it's such a great way for your consumers to go through and search for homes directly with the MLS data. It's so advanced, so easy to use, and it looks amazing on your website. It's just a great tool. It's easy for your consumers to search through. They can put in all of the details that they want. I mean, it's, it's amazing. So it really allows them to search for that data directly on your website. And it's a good option for you to be able to get some good leads. So that's why I wanted to push this. I wanted to do that little special for you guys. So the first five of you to send me an email, again, my email is Erin, E-R-I-N, at agentmarketing.com. I'll go ahead and get you going on that. I'll, uh, we'll walk you through setting it up and then give you your first month for free. So hope to hear from you guys. That's all I have for today. Thank you again so much for attending. I hope everybody has a great rest of your day. Have a great week and we will see you all next week for property automation. Thanks everyone.